So, Congressman, as you know, the president announced yesterday tariffs on steel and aluminum from all countries. Are you for it or against it? Do you support this? Well, um, I think that we should be targeting those people who have gotten over on us, but that, you know, have a universal rule, uh, which the president is, uh, you know, has a trial balloon out there right now. I think does not doesn't serve any purpose. We see what's happened to the markets. More important, we got to check to see what's going to happen to our consumers, us, because we're the ones that are going to bear the brunt, be it good or bad. Uh, and I think we need to really stand back and take a look at this. Uh, the president has uh, laid down a proposal. Uh, we need to know the details, obviously. We need to know if our allies can back out of this. They can option to back out of it. They can petition to back out of it. Uh, so I'm not going to dismiss it, uh, nor in any manner, shape, or form am I going to praise it. So it, it, it struck a number of us that, ironically on this one, it seems like, initially at least, Republicans up on the Hill tended to be against or at least dubious, and Democrats to be more supportive, like Ron Wyden, like Sherrod Brown seem to be right. more supportive. Is this breaking down party lines in the reverse way? No, I don't think so. I think this is the first reaction to a pretty chaotic thing that happened yesterday. In fact, I was on the phone with one of the media yesterday when this happened, and I saw the uh, stock market uh, do tumbles, and it's doing it early this morning as well. Uh, I, I won't be too quick to judge it, but I don't think we should be throwing trial balloons. I'm leaving just a little while to go to Mexico City on the next round of negotiations on NAFTA. I don't think that the Canadians and the Mexicans and the Greeters would open hands after this happened. And Canada has already stated this morning that they're willing to uh, take whatever action they have to take in response to what the, the president is proposing. Will the president provide us with those details? Then we'll have 30 days after that before it's going to be implemented. Uh, and, and we will have time to discuss it or, or, or try to persuade him to change many things. Uh, I would advise the president, not that he's asked for my advice, but I would advise the president to go slowly on this. I talked to a lot of business people early this morning, because our own chamber in New Jersey is down here in Washington for their uh, annual train ride. And I talked to many of them this morning, very, very concerned, I would say this, uh, at least 90 percent of them were, uh, as to what the president has proposed. So it's going to have a ripple effect on our own production. Uh, you know, Canada uh, and Mexico uh, lead uh, most of the other exporters to the United States, and we lead, and they lead in terms of getting our uh, exports. And we're talking about serious business here. We have a problem with China. We've had a problem not only in terms of dumping steel in our in our markets, but we've had a problem with them in uh, crazy currency rules that they've right. uh, put together and they haven't followed. Uh, there's no question on my mind, we got serious problems in China with their trade deals. But this is what happens when you have a free trade agreement that's run amok. Well, let's talk about Canada and Mexico for a moment, because as you say, sure. a lot of people say there are problems with China, but in fact, the United States reports very little steel, actually, from China. They import a lot more from Canada, from Mexico, from Brazil. And back when George W. Bush did something similar to this, ultimately had to roll it back, he exempted yes. Canada and Mexico quite specifically. That is correct. NAFTA. Do you have any indication from the White House they might be considering exemption for Canada and Mexico? No, but I'm sure they're going to have to before this becomes, you know, the president says next, next week, he will, he will have uh, the specifics for us. I doubt that that's going to happen. I doubt that he's going to be able to stay on, uh, uh, on time, um, the time factor that he's laid out uh, uh, yesterday. I still think we're in a pretty chaotic condition. It's a trial balloon. Uh, you're asking me questions without me knowing the specific details of it, or many other people know the specific details. And Republicans have told me they knew nothing about that this was going to happen. And finally, Congressman, uh, you mentioned the markets, and the markets have taken a tumble t yesterday and today, as you say, in part this morning on the back of the president's tweet saying a trade war is good. If a trade war is good, do you know who we're at war with? Is it China? <laughs> is, it, is it Canada? That's is it Brazil? Question. Who are we having war with? I think the answer is in your question. Uh, trade wars are never good. And the president says that we need trade war is good. In other words, almost like a cavalier attitude about this. And we're out there in the markets. This is not uh, the 20th century, it's the 21st century. Got many more issues than were put together during uh, the NAFTA negotiations, whether we're talking about privacy, 
I talk about the internet, uh, uh, Intel. It, there are many things that changed. Uh, we got to bring this into the 21st century. In order to do this, we ought to know who our allies are going to be in this. And if we treat our allies like our enemies, we're going to come out the losers. No two ways about it.